You saw the Chiefs. They are Super Bowl champs trying to go for the three-peat next year. When you look at the Browns, how far away are they? Yeah, that's the big question, right? Because uh, the Browns make the playoffs this year, get bounced in the first round. The Chiefs go back-to-back, -back, third one in five years. Everybody's looking up at the Chiefs. So when you look at roster-wise, some of the talent on the Browns is better than the talent on the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Miles Garrett, uh, by far, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, I would take him over anybody they have on their defense. Uh, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes stand out for the Chiefs on offense. Uh, but Nick Chubb, if he's healthy, he's a better running back than anybody that the Chiefs have. The offensive line went healthy for the Browns, with the exception maybe of Jedrick Wills. I'm not a big fan. Should have drafted Tristan Wirfs. But offensive line equivalent to that. The bottom line is this. We can talk about who they need to go out and sign in free agency, maybe trade for, maybe draft. But it all comes down to one player and one player only. Does Deshaun Watson get back to the 2020 Deshaun Watson that the Browns traded for? If he does, then they will challenge for the division championship and maybe play in an AFC championship. If he does not, David, uh, they, they don't stand a chance. It comes down to Deshaun Watson. How healthy is he? And can he get back to that level of play? Because you and I were talking before we came on the air and we you know, looked at the Chiefs wide receivers and said, they're not very good. Well, guess what? Patrick Mahomes makes them better. So no matter who they go out and get the Browns, can Deshaun Watson make those receivers better? And that's what it comes down to. And, you know, it's, it's kind of ironic because the last time you saw Deshaun Watson on the field, he kind of was that quarterback against the Ravens in the second half. Didn't look great in the first half, but game on the line, he played really well and then out for the rest of the year. Yeah, when he go in with a foot injury and uh, comes out with a rib injury and he's done for the year, a shoulder injury. What a, it never never ceases to amaze me, the OIC factor, only in Cleveland, right? Somebody goes in for an ankle injury and they separate their shoulder. A guy goes in for uh, a shoulder injury and, uh, you know, busted up ribs. So uh, that was a tough blow. Obviously, Kevin Stefanski, coach of the year, did a hell of a job using five different starting quarterbacks. Four of them won games. Joe Flacco, comeback player of the year. You can debate that if you want. Bottom line is he played well in the regular season, horrible in the postseason for the Browns. So, you know, you, you, you look at this, and Deshaun Watson gave us a glimpse, right, in that game against Baltimore. I don't think he missed a pass in the second half and leads them to a victory over a team that was the number one seed in the AFC. So, it's there, but we always talk about what's the best ability. It's availability. Can he be available for all 17 games? He's played 12 in two years with the Browns. He's 8-4 and four as a starter. That's good. What's not good is the games he didn't play. So he needs to get healthy and be there all 17 games. And then on top of all that, play like he did against the Ravens.